So, tomorrow, the 30th of January, is the 64th death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. And I'd like to begin this by not quoting Mahatma Gandhi, but another person who not all of us would have heard about. But in my opinion, because I have just read some of his works in the last two, three weeks, is a voice that is equally relevant to raise the topic of our discussion. The individual that I'm going to, going to quote, his name is Verrier Elvin. So Elvin was born in Britain, and he was educated in Oxford. He was the son of a bishop. He was himself, he had a degree in theology. He came to India in 1927 for missionary work. And he decided in the 30s to go to Eastern Gujarat, which was the home of the old community of tribals essentially to uplift them. But he went there and in his own words, he felt converted himself. He decided to settle with the Gorns. He married a Gorn woman. His children were Gorn. And the next few years, he wrote extensively and quite beautifully about the life and culture and the history of the Gorn people. His work was recognized and he was called upon by Nehru to advise on national committee on policies for tribals. And the quote that I'm going to, going to present today is where he was essentially talking about what should be the policy for the 5 million tribal community who are essentially isolated from civilization. And he was essentially the opinion that it is not for the Indian government to thrust civilization upon them. And he writes, we may fight for the three freedoms. Freedom from free fear, freedom from want, freedom from interference. We may see that the tribals get a square deal economically. We may see that they are free from cheats and imposters, from oppressive landlords and moneylenders, from corrupt and rapacious officials, and we may add corporations. We may see that they get medical aid from doctors with some sense of professional integrity. If there must be schools, we may see that these teach useful crafts like carpentry and agriculture and not a useless literacy. We may work to raise the prestige and the honor of the tribals in the eyes of their neighbors. We may guard them against adventurers who would rob them of their songs, their dances, their festivals, and their laughter. As we all know, this dream and hope of Elvin is not true today. The lands that these tribals, especially in Chhattisgarh, inhabit have been ravaged by corporations with the active connivance of the Indian government because these lands are also rich reserves of iron ore and bauxite. And so today, we have come here to protest against these excesses and also excesses against individuals who have spoken out against the violations of human rights in these tribal lands. So in 1922, Mahatma Gandhi was charged by the British government for sedition for his leadership of the non-cooperation movement. It so happens that this law for sedition, which is useful for the British government to extend their hegemony, is still used today, is still abused today to incarcerate individuals who speak out against human, human, human rights abuses. And these people who've been incarcerated by the government have been rightly called prisoners of conscience by Amnesty International. In particular, uh, I want to cite Sony Sodi, a fearless Adivasi teacher who was wrongly accused again of, of, of conniving against the government, of participating in violence against the government, and has been imprisoned, languishing in jail. I also want to cite Lingaran Kudopi, who is a journalist, uh, a tribal journalist, who spoke out against the government-led burning of three villages in Dantewada, and has again been imprisoned by the government. And I want to end today uh, by citing a more homely example from the Declaration of Independence, which I'm sure some of us must have heard of. Uh, and it goes as follows. Governments are instituted among men, deriving their powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it, and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Thank you. Uh, along those lines, uh, we are gathered here to protest against a few very specific prisoners of conscience. That's out on this paper. But also 
against the general rule and the general trend in India uh, that the governments are following. Throw innocent people in jail, charge them, keep them there, languishing for a long, long time. So what we're going to do now is to protest against this uh, unjust incarceration, protest against this idea that a democracy should work so poorly, protest against the fact that dissent is so actively uh, championed against in a democracy like ours. So uh, please join me in letting the Indian government know that this is not on, that there are people around the world who are, have an eye on these things. There are people around the world who care about the fact that our state is and should be a free state, is and should be a, pr a proud democracy and not one of the uh, one of the terror states or one of the dictator states or a state that doesn't allow things like these to happen. So what we're going to do now is um, an Occupy type uh, project. Please join me. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Intimidation of human rights defenders. Intimidation of human rights defenders. In India must end. In India must end. Linka and Sony. Corporations are not people. Corporations are not people. People are people. People are people. Stop Operation Green Hunt. Stop Operation Green Hunt. Protect the defenders. Protect the defenders. Torture is unconstitutional. Torture is unconstitutional. Article 21. Article 21. Guarantee. Guarantee. Life. Life. Liberty, liberty and due process. And due process. Life, liberty and due process. Life, liberty and due process. Stand up for what is right. Stand up for what is right. Even if you're standing alone. Even if you're standing alone. We are not alone. We are not alone. Intimidation. Intimidation. Must end. Must end. Linka and Sony. Linka and Sony. Are not terrorists. Are not terrorists. Is not sedition. Injustice for one. Injustice for one. Is injustice for all. Is injustice for all. Corporations are not people. Corporations are not people. People are people. People are people. Stop hunting people. Stop hunting people. Stop Operation Green Hunt. Stop Operation Green Hunt. Protect the defenders. Protect the defenders. Unconstitutional. Stop torturing the defenders. Stop torturing the defenders. Stand up for what is right. Stand up for what is right. Even if you're standing alone. Even if you're standing alone. We are not alone. We are not alone. Linka and Sony are not alone. Linka and Sony are not alone. Thank you.
I know I won't be able to go back. I know this. But she is a child. Pacify her. We have to have her blood transfused every year, my young daughter. She won't have to bear this pain much longer. Without treatment, she will go quiet this year. Tell my elder son and daughter not to believe anything the kids in school say. That their father and mother made mistakes and that's why they're in jail. My old father's wasting leg will not be treated either now. But I also have a complaint against my father. Why did you educate me? Why did he not know that for a tribal girl to be educated can put her in so much trouble? Uneducated, I would have stayed quiet. I would have taken it, been trodden down. But by educating me, why did you prepare me to speak and to create difficult situations?
గారు కొన్ని కామెంట్స్ తెలుగు ఇంటర్వ్యూ చేస్తే క్వశ్చన్స్ అడగండి ప్రొటెస్ట్ అన్న లేకపోతే జస్ట్ ఇన్ కేస్ సో జనరల్ హ్యూమన్ రైట్స్ వైలేషన్స్ అన్న ఏదన్నా మీరు ఇష్యూ గురించి టార్చర్ పోలీస్ తెలుగులో తెలుగులో మీరు హ్యాడ్ కూడా తీసేయచ్చు కావాలంటే మీరు చలి చలి ఉందా జస్ట్ కబుల్ ఆఫ్ మినిట్స్ democracy it has been protected outside of the country but sometimes we feel ashamed to say that it has not been as it has been protected outside mainly because if we see each at each state level particularly central central india it has been burning on the other hand it has been protected outside india is shining but it has been burning because people have been every day put in lot of intimidation as they have been asking for their right to life and and right to live the only thing that they say that please allow us to live here as human beings which is the one the state has been thinking that it is a dangerous for its existence so in the name of protecting the people they have been killing the people and their defenders they are putting them into the jails and whoever is asking justice for the people and people's rights within the democratic setup and it has been put into the difficult situations best example of this is today sony and sony and linga has been in jail they have been put in jails the only mistake that they did is they have been demanding the government to stay by what it has been said constitutionally so there is no meaning for democracy here the india is redefining the democracy that democracy is nothing but autocracy so as people care for the people's rights we have to oppose and demand the government to be as government to protect the people protect the people's interests not the corporation's interests not its own existence thank you
Yeah, you can come here. There's a Huh? I'm thinking should we do it with more people behind you or I think we'll do it once the slogan starts. Mic check! Mic check! check. Intimidation! Intimidation! Of human rights defenders! Of human rights defenders! In India was that! In India was that! Linga and Sony! Linga and Sony! Are not terrorists! Are not terrorists! Are not terrorists. Democracy! Democracy! Involves dissent! Involves dissent! We have the right to dissent! We have the right to dissent! Injustice for one injustice for one is injustice for all is injustice for all corporations corporations are not people are not people people are people people are people stop hurting people stop hurting people protect the defenders protect the defenders torture torture is unconstitutional is unconstitutional Article 21 Article 21 guarantee guarantee life life liberty liberty and due process due process
Thank you, thank you. 